for a main, I'm serving up a hearty chickpea squash pot pie that's got everything that's good about autumn. Squash, apples, coziness, a blanket of phyllo dough, all served up in a cast iron skillet. My skillet is hot already. I'll drizzle in a tablespoon of olive oil and plop in a couple of tablespoons of butter. I'll pile in my mirepoix. I have a chopped yellow onion and a few stalks of celery that are chopped and some carrots that I've sliced into thicker coins. I'll sprinkle in a couple of good pinches of salt to help draw out the moisture of the vegetables, which will allow them to soften. I'll stir this around and give them a good seven to 10 minutes so that they can sweat out. I'll add some earthy thyme. I've got four cloves of chopped garlic, two teaspoons of za'atar. It's bright, it's nice. A teaspoon of paprika and a pinch of cayenne. Mm. Smelling that thyme already. I'll stir this in and allow the spices to toast, allow the garlic to cook. And once it's smelling really fragrant, that's your sign to go on to the next step. Dry red wine is gonna help me deglaze and it will contribute delicious depth. Before I add any other ingredients, I want to allow the red wine to reduce, just leaving behind the flavor. I do wanna cook off that alcohol. This red wine is reduced by half. I'll pour in the rest of the braising liquid. I have one 15 ounce can of crushed tomatoes and two cups of low sodium vegetable stock. I'll plop in some cubed colorful butternut squash. And now to cut some of the sweetness, I'll chop and add a sourish apple. Next, a quarter cup of chopped fresh parsley. Let me stir these in and allow them to start to get soft. I'll also toss in a bay leaf to infuse more herby flavor. Now that I've put the whole garden into this pot, I'm ready for some protein. Two cans of rinsed chickpeas will soak up this stew and get creamy, kind of melt down. I am going to allow this big honkin' skillet to simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. I want the flavors to meld and for the squash to start to soften. I'll finish this off with a splash of vinegar for acidity, honey to balance, salt, and then grab my crispy, irresistible topping. I'm using phyllo dough. One very important thing to keep in mind when you're working with phyllo is that you wanna prevent it from drying out. So I've got a wet paper towel here. I'm gonna work with one at a time. I'll brush with a thin layer of butter to help it get crispy and delicious. I'll sprinkle it with za'atar. To transfer this on top of my pie, I'll slip my hands under it and bunch it up so that it sort of looks like a rustic rose. It's like a flower. Right here on top. And I like to give it some good height so that you get those crispy bits. You wanna handle this delicately, gently, and quickly. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a good one. I wanna cover the entire surface area of the stew. I'll finish with a pinch of flaky salt. Like sparkly body glitter and it'll bake at 375 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. It'll look stunning. Ooh. Isn't that striking? Just needs a sprinkle of parsley for a pop of freshness and greenery. Make sure it's okay. It's like phyllo music to my ears. Yeah, look at that. It's so steamy. Mmm, mm-hmm. It like hugs my insides. That flaky, crunchy phyllo dough on top is awesome. 